Greetings, YouTube! It is I, Venomous Woe. Hold your orgasms, ladies, please. Um, so yeah, anyways, I got a battle here against Why So Serious 321. And it was UU tier, and it was very haxy, not gonna lie. There was a lot of luck involved, especially with me, as you'll see in a moment. But um, I still think it was a good battle. I still think it was pretty fun, and I still think it's entertaining to watch, so that's why I'm going to make a video about it. And, um, the title is once again a giveaway. It's basically just saying that Snorlax is going to kick ass and take names this game. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's skip ahead to the team preview, shall we? Right, so it looks like we've got a pretty standard UU match with standard UU fair. Uh, my team is... Pretty standard. Just some sweepers with some walls and a scarfer. The scarfer being Nido King. And the walls being Slowbro and Snorlax. And um, he's got some. His team appears to be mostly defensive. He's got Slowbro, Registeel, and Claydol within the ranks. But he's got a few um, scouts and sweepers in there. I'm thinking Ambipom, Scrafty, and Dramanitan. So I'm going to have to break through those walls first and foremost. I expect. Um, Slowbro and maybe Claydol to be physically defensive, and I expect Registeel to be specially defensive. So yeah, with that in mind, I'm going to have to um, break through those defenses pretty darn quickly if I'm going to want to get his sweepers. I also need to be aware of Jarmanitan, because Jarmanitan just packs a really big punch. Even Slowbro, with its massive physical defense, will have trouble containing it. So yeah, with that said, let's start the battle. So I'm going to lead off with Derpy D the Slowbro as he lays off with Handjob, the Ambipom, and I'm like, dude, pick a more original name because I think Hayden had something like two hand jobs for his Ambipom or something like that. He goes with a fake out, does not do that much to me, and then he U-turns out of there. And I go for Scald on this Registeel. I was trying to hit Ambipom, but he U-turned out, so yeah. I'm thinking, okay, I don't want Slowbro to get toxic, so I switch out to Neo King to take that, but he turns out he goes for Thunder Wave, and that works too, I guess. I go for Earth Power, as he goes for Stealth Rock. Registeel is probably a special wall, so it doesn't do as much as I like. He switches out to Claydol to take the next Earth Power, and um, Claydol resists that with the Levitate and stuff. He goes for Earthquake. Honchkrow is immune to it with his flying type awesomeness. Now, he, he has to switch out, so I'm going to set up a substitute. Because Honchkrow functions better behind a sub. This is basically your standard Moxie Crow set, except that with instead of Brave Bird, I have Night Slash. I go for Superpower on this Registeel. It doesn't do as much as I would like, because it doesn't kill. I'm like, alright, maybe Night Slash will kill, but I'm like, but it doesn't, and I'm like, fuck me! And then he T-waves me, which is like, god damn it! So yeah, he goes for Iron Head, and um, I set up another sub, trying to um, punch through this Registeel. But I get paralyzed on the next turn, and I'm like, dude, come on! Come on, Honchkrow, you're, you're killing me here! So I go for Sucker Punch trying to damage it, and it still does not die! This thing just will not keel over and die. I want it to. I want it to so badly. So now I bring out Nidoking trying to kill it with Earth Power, but he switches out of there and goes into Claydol. Oh wait, excuse me, I go for Thunderbolt. Probably because I wanted to sweep most of his team with Nidoking. So I back out of there, go into Slowbro to take the Ice Beam. And I didn't really know the ice cream was coming, I just wanted to go into slow road and take it. Take whatever attack he had. I thought it was going to be Earthquake or something. Um, anyways, I switch out to kill Rothy the Raikou, and he goes for Thunder Wave, and I'm like, Come on! What is it with you and T-Wave? You have two Pokemon with T-Wave. That's, that's crazy. So he goes for Earthquake. I try to go for Hidden Power Grass, but I get paralyzed, and I'm like, Raikou, get off your lazy ass and move! So yeah. So I go into Mike Tyson, the Machamp, and set up some bulk ups as he goes for Toxic. I'm like, okay, that's going to put a damper on my festivities, but I'm going to live with this and try and do the best I can. 
Ice Punch does a lot to this clay doll, so I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, I go for Bullet Punch on the next turn just to make sure I go first. I'm not really sure why, because I'm already faster than Clay Doll, but whatever. Anyways, I go for Slowbro. Now, I go for Dynamic Punch trying to get the Confusion Hacks, but he reveals that he has own tempo on his Slowbro, and I'm like, what? What? I swear, I was screaming on my in my head, who puts own tempo on a Slowbro? Use Regenerator. So yeah, I bring up the Snorlax, and I go for Curse as he goes for T-Wave. I'm not sure why he keeps going for T-Wave. I guess he wants that Parahax. So he switches out to Scrafty, and I'm like, okay, this is not good. Um, I might as well just stay in, because I got plus two defense, and I might be able to live an attack from the Scrafty. He goes for Dragon Dance next turn, and I'm like, nope, and go for Return. That almost kills it. Now, here is where the game kind of changes around a bit, because if Snorlax got paralyzed here, I would have pretty much died. But nope, Snorlax pulled through and hit him with Return. See, so yeah, he switches out to Ambipom. I know the fake out's coming, but there's not much I can do, so I just let Snorlax stay in and take it. And he U-turns out, so... And I predicted that, so... Yeah, I basically managed to set up another curse. Which is helpful, because Slowbro... The Slowbro that he switches into is very physically bulky. So I'm going to need all the offensive power I can muster to take him out. He goes for Scald, I think. I'm trying to burn me, but I'm already paralyzed, so what's the point? He goes for Slack Off. I go for Return. That almost kills it. Almost, but not quite. So yeah, he goes for Slack Off again. I go for the, another Return, and that takes him out. So Snorlax just doesn't fucking care that it's paralyzed. Ah, oh, man. Snorlax, you are great. You are great. So finally, Snorlax's Reign of Terror ends with a Flare Blitz from the Starmanitan, and I decided to send out Slowbro to take out take on the next one. He U-turns out and goes into... What's he going to? Ambipom. I go for the T-Wave, and that paralyzes his Ambipom, but he doesn't go for Fake Out here for some reason. He instead just lets me slack off. So, uh, yeah. He gets that Parahax... I go for Scald. He gets Parahex again, and I'm like, Anyways. So now he brings out Registeel and goes for T-Wave on my Slowbro. Like, why why are you going for T-Wave on a wall? Shouldn't you be going for Toxic? Ah, well, whatever. Anyways, he goes for U-Turn, trying to do that super effective damage and all that kind of stuff. But I go for Scald, and that takes him out. So that is the end of the game. Good job, Why So Serious. You played pretty darn well, but... Well, you got some major hacks, but you still played well. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.